Hello, Gavin McCormack here and welcome. This week we're talking all about trees and have we got a surprise for you. We've traveled all the way from Australia and traveled 14,000 kilometers all the way to Bangalore in central India to bring you one of the biggest trees in the world. Yes, behind me you can see this is the Danyan tree and it is absolutely colossal, not only in size but also in age. The surface area of this tree and the canopy spans over the size of two Olympic swimming pools. But what's even more amazing than that is it has over 500 trunks. But we'll come to that in just a second. What's really remarkable about this tree is its amazing age. It's over 400 years old, which means when it first started growing, the Ottoman Empire was still in command in the Middle East. And yes, William Shakespeare was writing Hamlet. That's how old this tree is. Now you might be thinking, how can it have 400 trunks? What's amazing about banyan trees is that they have something called aerial roots. Rather than their roots being underground, their roots are on the surface. And as you can see behind me, these roots go all the way from the ground and all the way to the branches. Now, how does that work? Well, as a tree grows outwards horizontally, it lets roots come out of its branches. Those roots try to find their way all the way to the ground. And when they do, they burrow into the ground, causing them to be new trunks. And that's what can support this absolutely huge structure. Now with a huge structure such as this, it brings a vast amount of benefits to the local area. Yes, first of all, there are so many creatures living here, from monkeys into squirrels. But even more amazing than that is that this is the home to over two million different insects. What an amazing feat that is. Now these trees have a huge significance, not only culturally, but also historically. The leaves, the roots, and even the branches have been used in history for various medicinal purposes as anti-inflammatories, as antiseptics, and also antibiotics for the people who got sick in this region long ago. But what's really, really unique about this tree is the ecosystem development that it brings to the local area. This tree alone, one tree from one seed with over 500 trunks, brings an entire ecosystem to play in the heart of this. This tree, for example, is known for, as a place of sanctuary, a place of health, a place of assistance. The village that surrounds this tree hundreds of years ago was populated by a very poor population of the community. And one evening, a young man called Ravi visited this very spot. He came here because he had no money and he had no food. And he crouched down at the tree's base and he asked it for help. He closed his eyes and he told it all of his problems. Now, when he'd finished talking, he opened his eyes to reveal that there was a golden coin sitting right where my feet are right now. He picked up the coin, he went back to his village and he sold the gold. He shared the money with the community. When they asked him, where did you get the money from? He told them that he went to the banyan tree looking for help and it provided assistance. Now this is not a magical story where the tree produces gold. This is a story of hope. The real help that he required was the help of the community. And this is why this tree is so significant. These roots burrowing into the ground and helping each other survive and supporting the branches are what a community is all about. Now this week we are going to ask you to take an active role in preserving nature including the trees in your community. We are going to provide you with a diagnostic test and it sounds very official but what we're looking for you to do is find a tree in your local community and see if that tree is healthy. We're going to give you a 10 point checklist and that checklist will allow you to wander in your community and assess the trees that surround your home or surround your school. And what we're looking for is to see, is the tree that you are studying healthy? Because if we can preserve trees and take care of them, then we will preserve all of nature and you are part of nature. So this week is all about learning from ecosystems such as these, such as this wonderful 400 year old banyan tree and taking it to your house, to your community, to your classroom and making sure that we're not only caring for the people in our lives or the animals that live by, but we're also caring for their trees that sustain our lives and making sure that all of nature is taken care of. It's Gavin McCormack this week in Bangalore. Goodbye.